Looks like we're getting a new Constantine. The Guardians 3 script is finished and an update on the release of Wonder Woman 1984. Hello, hello, I'm Chris Killian and happy Friday the 13th. What was that? No, I'm totally kidding. Jason's not on my spaceship. Straight from the mouth of the devil himself, Peter Stormare seemingly confirmed in an Instagram post that a Constantine sequel is in the works. This is great news because Peter Stormare as Lucifer is my favorite portrayal of the devil on screen, and I don't care if that opinion angers people. We've known for some time now that J.J. Abrams is developing a Justice League Dark project for HBO Max. At this year's Comic-Con, Keanu Reeves also participated in a Constantine anniversary panel, and rumblings that he was in talks to return as Constantine made their way around the internet, though we haven't heard anything concrete since. My guess, and this is purely a guess, is that this is connected to J.J. Abrams' Justice League Dark project, which I 100% support, especially if we dye Keanu's hair blonde this time around. I know a lot of people want Matt Ryan to return as Constantine, but he's TV Constantine, and I just don't see them moving him to the DCEU. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Quentin Tarantino's gonna love this. Tom Holland posted a little photo on his story today of him relaxing in the Spider-Man suit, and why the is Tom Holland watching golf? Great news! Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will begin filming once Peacemaker is done shooting and the Suicide Squad's final edits are complete. And while that might seem like a long time away, because it is, James Gunn has confirmed on Twitter that he's finished the script and most of the production heads have been hired. Speaking of production heads, Marvel Studios EVP Victoria Alonso said in a recent interview that there are no plans to use a digital double in place of Chadwick Boseman for Black Panther 2. While Wonder Woman 84 is still technically slated to hit movie theaters Christmas Day, other outlets are reporting that Warner Brothers are currently weighing two options. The studio is either looking to delay it once again to the summer of 2021, but the problem is that with everything else being delayed to the summer and beyond, that executives are worried that theater competition is going to be too stiff and the film's going to suffer as a result. The other option is to release Wonder Woman 84 on Christmas as planned in whatever theaters are open while also releasing it on HBO Max simultaneously. That's the one I'd go with. A movie can only be delayed so many times before audience enthusiasm wanes, and I think Wonder Woman 84 and Black Widow are both seeing this at the moment. Release it on HBO Max, give audiences something new for the holidays, bump up subscriptions, win-win considering the circumstances. Either way, Warner Brothers will likely be making an official announcement in the next couple of weeks. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch the latest episode of The Mandalorian. Chapter 11 was directed by Bryce Dallas Howard, who it turns out is a chip off the old block with one of the best episodes in the series yet. Oh god, no! no! Breaking news alert. Chris Pratt will appear in Thor Love and Thunder. Chris. Chris. I no longer detect you. Thank you for coming to comicbook.com for the best geek news. <laughs> <laughs>